so we thought we'd make you a little video on uh, a lot of the, something we get quite a few questions on. That's the Johnson Avenue Root Bombardier um, VRO system. Uh, some people don't like it so much. They call it very rarely oiled. It has blown up a lot of motors, caused them to need rebuilding, uh, which is where we come in. That's what we do. We remanufacture motors. So it starts off with your boat, and in the boat, there's an oil tank. All Johnson Evinrude motors have an oil remote oil tank. Um, this should be checked every two years, cleaned out. You get sediment in the bottom. Sometimes you get water in the bottom. Sometimes your strainer gets clogged up. Causes all kinds of problems. Sometimes, most of the time, after 10 years or so, the alarm doesn't work. Uh, it's another thing you should make sure your alarm works. Uh, we have other videos on that. Uh, but if your alarm doesn't work, you're just waiting. You're, you're, you're asking for a problem. So, this oil has to be pumped through the boat to the motor. Another problem this time of year is if you use your boat in the cold weather, if you're a duck hunter or whatever, a lot of times it doesn't want to pump. So this is your VRO pump. And it's basically three pieces, three components. Air pump, that drives the fuel pump, and then it drives the oil pump. This takes pulses off the engine. Since the piston's going back and forth, you got pressure, vacuum, pressure, vacuum. Moves the diaphragm back and forth. It gets pressure and vacuum from a nipple on the block. That's it right there. They're just about all the same. And we're talking for decades. Started out in 1983. Probably didn't go away till 2010. So that's what it looks all together. This, is, this would be the nipple for your pulses. This would be the fuel supply. This would be the fuel driving to your engine. This is fuel in and this is oil in and the oils mixed with the gas internal so what we have here just to, so you can graphically see it there's your air pump so it's a diaphragm again pulses off the engine right there moves that back and forth drives that shaft which attaches to your fuel diaphragm this is usually where the problems are this one looks good, but if you take them apart, a lot of times ethanol will just heat them. That one's in really good shape. So that's back and forth with a check valve. So fuel into one side of the diaphragm, fuel out to the other diaphragm, supplying fuel to your engine. Now, the shaft also threads into your oil plunger. And this little end, and it has electronics on it, so if you're not getting oil, in theory, an alarm will go off. That's why there's a harness to it. So what happens is, because it's all attached to one shaft, this is going back and forth at a rate of 50 to 1 at all times. So they say variable rate. It's not variable rate. It's always 50 to 1. So that's pumping back and forth. That's how little oil you need. And it's mixing internally. And that's your... It's, there's no diaphragm, it's just a plunger, but that can go bad too. And that is it. Um, prone to fail, uh, prone to fail, so something you should at least check if you want to use your oil injection, make sure your alarm's working. Another thing we have to do, if you want to use your oil injection and you want to be sure it's working, this is the best way. Sometimes they call it the acid test. So this should be done if you're new to the boat. If you've done any work to this VRO system, say put a new pump in, even change the line. You don't want to use your boat and find out later you're not getting oil. So what we do is we fill the tank up or put it, mark it right there. That's our oil level. Hopefully you can see that in the video. And then we go to the gas tank and we mix oil in the gas at a rate of 50 to 1. Then we run a whole tank of gas and we verify that goes down. You can even do the math if you want. Say, well, I ran it for 10 hours at 50 to 1. That's about right. But mainly, if you know that went down, and you don't have an oil leak anyways, your bilge is not filled with oil, which would be really obvious, you know your VRO is working, and then you can be fairly comfortable. Just run the oil injection itself. 
not that bad to even go to 101 all the time. The oil and the gas keeps the gas more stable, uh, protects all your fuel lines that will have a little bit of oil on them. The, the lines will actually last longer internally. So something can, to consider. But if you got a little bit of VRO, that's something to do. There is an urban legend out there that this was designed by Johnson Avenue back in 83. And it was supposed to be aluminum. And uh, they did some cost cutting and decided to make it out of plastic. And as you can see, the joints aren't exactly made not great. So it doesn't look like the best produced piece. There's some Chinese ones on the internet now. They're absolute junk. They don't work at all. So the best bet is probably go through the one you got. That's it.